What's up everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. We're starting things off with the Strike Tech Icarus class destroyer. I think I got that right. Um, which side note, holy crap at these guns. Like just stay out of the front of that ship. This thing's got cannons like whoa. Um Wow, and there's rail guns and missiles. This thing is like loaded for Bear, arm for the teeth. I like the little satellite dishes up on the top, by the way. Um, ooh. What block is this? SC Force Field Edge. Hmm. Interesting. So that's kind of awesome. It's like a... Uh, whatchamacallit. One of those shielded bays like you see in Star Trek and Star Wars and stuff. Ooh. I need to do this more in my stuff. I keep saying this and I keep not doing it, but I need to use like all these modded blocks instead of just standard um, single uh, metal blocks and stuff like that. So we kind of came in at a weird spot on the ship. Um, I think this is some kind of control room. And this looks like it's going to lead where? Batteries. We'll take that in a minute. Uh, ooh. Got a little Empire Strikes Back going on. A little bit. So it's like a under... Undercarriage entrance. That's cool. Whoop. Nope. If you can get out. Okay. So, oh, engine room. This is definitely the engine room, reactor room, react room. Or re rec room? Re rec room? React room. React room, I think. I can't remember how we said it. Um, oh, man, that's a cool reactor. And I love the pipes. Those are the little nuance things that nobody ever pays attention to, or at least, like, not many people. All the good builders seem to pay attention to all those little details that they'll throw in there. It's so awesome. And like having a shelf unit. It's great. Danger signs, all that stuff. Ooh, welders. What are the welders for? Hmm. Maybe this will tell me. Setup actions. Uh, duh. Okay. Engine repair. Engine. Oh, engine repair. So those must be thrusters. That's a cool idea. Or is that gyros? Large industrial thruster. That's a cool idea. I have seen that before. I just forgot about it. But that's pretty... What is this? Holy crap, a gyroscope? I don't remember seeing that kind of gyroscope. That's, that's a mod I've never run across before. Uh, that's the other side repair. Alright, so let's find out what this, where this way goes. Medbay? Medbay. Eh, Medbay. It's labeled. <laughs> um, speaking of which, wasn't there a label up here that I totally just blew past? I thought there was. Oh, flight deck. That's what it was. Flight deck control. And what does this do? Uh, port flight deck doors open close interior defense wait port port okay so one opens one closes oh wait ports no port should be that side oh there we go what oh they put cargo doors in front of it Oh no, that's cool. That's slick. Because the force fields don't actually stop anything, so the cargo doors do. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is med bay. Is this still med bay? No, this is a locker room, looks like. With showers. Complete with showers. And rack, rec room. No, bunk room. Not rec room. I get a, got tongue-tied. 
Um, okay, armory, definitely. Love that block. One of my favorite blocks ever. Um, and then this is what? Bridge? Door. I think this is the bridge. Yes. Which, it's an awesome bridge, by the way. I'm loving this design. It's really pretty cool. It's got a very open, you can see what's going on. It's really pretty epic. What is all this, though? This block doesn't look familiar. Graded floor block. And encased gyroscopes. Graded floor block. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay. Interior lock. Interior defenses. Oh, that's cool. You could lock the place down. That's kind of neat. Ah! Foods. I need to expand some of my stuff in the, uh, in my survival build and add, like, a mess hall and crap like that. We need to do stuff like that. That would be cool. Um, alright, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I think that's all the interior. I believe? Yes, I think it is. So I just want to test out some of these guns, because there's just too many of them not to shoot something. It's just a requirement. Oh, and look, we have a very convenient pla- wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap! This ship is super responsive for its size. a little bit... No, it's not even that slow, either. The turning on this thing is ridiculous. Wow. Wow. That's kind of awesome. Okay. So we've got... 25 centimeter. Oh, look at all the targets. Yes! This would just demolish something. I mean, you're the other ship. Not to mention it about blew my speakers apart. I'm sorry about that. That's kind of epic. Okay, I'm not gonna move. That's just... That's just stupid. Okay, rail guns. We're gonna get rid of the things on the left and the right of this refinery. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, auto cannon? Seriously, this thing is armed to the teeth. What does this one do? Uh, flak batteries. Missile batteries, lancer batteries. Lancer laser? Or laser lance. What is that? Seven. I kind of want to know what one of these do. There's something Lance? No, oh, L. Uh, laser Lance. No, that's not it. Where was those turrets? Where were those turrets? <clears throat> Words. Grammar. Um, I can't find them. I kind of always forget that... Oh, there they are. Large Lance turret. Can I take control? No, I can't. Hmm. Shoot once. Did it do anything? I don't know. Uh, let's go for... Laser Lance. What do those do? What the heck? Holy crap! Hold the phone, we gotta try this. This is one of those, should we try it? Probably not. We're probably gonna break something. But do we need to try it? abso freaking lootly. Okay, right about there. What the heck? So basically never go near this thing with hostile intent. Because it has way more guns. 
than anything. <laughs> All right, so I think that's going to do it for this one. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have, it's a actual blueprint. It's called Draco City. Um, I didn't read too thoroughly the description, so I'm not entirely sure if there's like a specific uh, purpose, like if it's a mining facility or anything like that. It just looked freaking awesome. And it is a blueprint. It's not a world save, but I was very surprised to, to, fi to find out that it doesn't have any mods, because it looks really creative to not have a single mod in it. Um, I also noticed that it's set under the exploration category, so if they if the um, the devs use it, there's a chance that you could actually run into the city, which is pretty amazing. Um, I don't know how thoroughly I will showcase this one, mostly due to the obvious performance hit that it's giving me. Um, that and the fact that without any real mods, there is... Um, some semblance of probably having seen some of the same decor design type things. Not sure. There's always people that surprise, surprise with new and different ways of building things, even with the vanilla blocks, so you never know. Um, if I could find a door, we could know for sure. There's probably a door. These look like hallways, so there's probably a door in one of these pods over here. Um, this is another one of the builds, though, that I've seen using the catwalks and stuff uh, to make curves, which I never thought of doing until a few episodes ago when we saw that in the one mining facility. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see a door. There's gotta be a door. You know what? Uh, kind of apologies. Ooh, no, turn that off. I'm making a door. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay. So we're in the facility now. Uh, looks like we entered into the reactor room. Or the react room. Arrows going up. Are we in the center pod? I think we are. Okay. I guess we'll go up, since that's the way the arrow told us to go. I wasn't sure if that was a doorway or not. Doesn't look like it. Oh, hold on. There we go. It's very difficult to fly around and stuff when the frame rate is this low. So we have our refinery part above the reactor, which is always good. Makes sense. You refine stuff and then send it down at the reactor. Um, side elevators here, or pathways, I guess. I like builds that do this with the default pathways uh, because it tends to get very confusing uh, when you do everything in one elevator shaft. Because then you miss doors and hallways and things. Side note, love these corridors. These corridors are amazing. Oh, and there's batteries! That's a weird spot to put batteries, but it's kind of cool. So I'm guessing from here is where you get to all the other pods, though I'm not entirely sure what the reasoning for each pod is. Uh, batter weapons off, pack backup power. Unless they're just for defense of the central pod, maybe? I do think it would be cool for somebody to do a design like this where it's got all these pods and compartments, but actually connect them with merge blocks and connectors and airlocks and things so that you could just, like, uh, disconnect the whole system. That would be kind of cool. So each one of those hallways goes to one of the other pods. So let's go up and find out what we've got going on here in the upper area. Okay. What is that? Artificial mass blocks with gravity generators. Not really sure what the purpose of that would be. Backup power. FTL. Gravity weapons. 
I guess this is maybe supposed to be the F an FTL drive. I, I mean, obviously there isn't actually one, especially without using mods, but uh, in the game, I mean. And then this goes out to an observation port, I guess. Is this the top? Whoa, no, it's still so much higher. Okay, well, where is the door? Where, where am I? What am I missing? Oh, there we go. I was thinking the arrow was pointing towards that doorway. I missed the elevator. Or pathway. Whoa, see what I mean? When you get going, it's easy to fly out of the elevator shafts and miss the spot that you wanted to go. Oh, that's kind of cool. They used it like a blast screen. That's pretty neat. Alright, so where... Is this another elevator one? Yeah, I guess it is. Because I was going to say, we still haven't even gotten to the part where I broke through yet. I don't think. Uh... Oh. Oh. Well, that's confusing. Okay. And open. Not really sure what this is for other than just for, like, design. Okay, and this goes up. Med bay, looks like. Small med bay. With a camera, you know. Just in case those crazy patients get out of hand. And this feels like it might be the very top. I think it is. You've got all of your control consoles and everything. So it's pretty cool, especially for only having the vanilla blocks to work with. I think that was an awesome, awesome design. Alright, so now we'll move on to the last one. Okay, so the last one I can guarantee you is going to be very frame intensive, um, so I'm not entirely sure how thorough I will be in this with this one. You may have to just follow the link and check it out yourselves for a more thorough look, but this is the... Um, NX-01 Enterprise. I believe this was the one from the TV show. The, the Enterprise TV show. Um, apparently, I glanced through the description and this is a re-release, I guess, um, that now includes mods. I guess the original build didn't utilize mods and this one does now. Um, so it's supposed to, you know, make it more authentic looking or accurate or whatever you want to call it. Like I, I think like this, for example, actually has the warp drive mod in the warp nacelles instead of just probably having a bunch of thrusters. Um, but looks pretty pretty accurate from outside. I, I didn't really watch that show very often, but from the pictures I've seen and stuff of the original uh, ship and stuff, looks pretty good. Uh, though, what is all this? Deck D. Wait a minute. I guess you're just supposed to use your jetpack here? What is this? What is all this stuff? Pizza boxes? Or just slabs of stuff? I don't know what that is. These are mods that I've not seen before. <laughs> it's like supplies. That's funny. Oh, what is that? What 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 is this? What is this? It looks so cool. It's like golden laser bridge or something. That is neat, dude. There are seriously some blocks in here that I don't know what they are. Um, I guess I gotta wait an hour for my menu to come up because of the probably all the crap ton of mods in this giant magic disc that's kind of cool okay what are you sc light half slab and you are 
SC solar panel. Huh. Well, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. Ooh, what is all this? That's going to be solar panel bowl. That is so cool. It's like power cells or something. Very interesting. Very interesting. Is this some new kind of door? SC door wall. Oh, look at that. It's got a little... Ooh, whoa. Whoa. Interior corridor. Okay, I have to make use of these at some point. Going down. Yeah, this is a really cool design. They did a good job. What is this back here? This looks like warp engines or something. Oh! It's actually the back of the ship! <laughs> Hi! So technically they are warp engines. Um, What is that? Oh, those are the azimuth reactors. Okay, upside... Wait a minute. Why is that upside down? Deck E. Why is that upside down? Am I losing my mind? I might be losing my mind. Okay. Ooh, there's another big cargo door. Eh, what do you know about that? Hey, what is that armor panel? Oh. Interesting. Okay, so how do I get to, like, the crew quarters and stuffs? Oh, here we go. What is this? What the heck is that? Armored round slope. Oh, it's just... Huh? Oh, they actually, like, made a custom frame. That's so cool. That is so cool. Alright, and no... No walkthrough of a Star Trek ship is complete without checking out the bridge, at least for a minute. Uh. Oh. Okay, that was already closed. Um, so let's see if we can't figure out where the bridge is. Probably... Up this way. If I actually knew the ship from the show or something, it'd probably be easier to figure out, but I don't. Deck C. Well, we're moving up in the world, at least. I would imagine it would be at the top, because it's always in that little bubble dome. Or, correction, it's usually in that little bubble dome. Where's the door? I swear I'm losing my mind in some of these builds. This literally does not go anywhere. <laughs> Wait. Why is that here? <laughs> Why is that there? It is so confusing. There is literally nowhere that that goes. At least not that I can tell. Okay. It does make it very difficult to move with five frames a second as well. Okay, that's the title. Or the name of the ship. So where's the bridge? Did I pass it like a lunatic? I'm so lost. I don't know where the bridge is! <laughs> yeah. I'm totally lost. Not to mention some of these hallways don't go anywhere. Where's this go? To another weird hallway. What the heck, man? Where am I? Okay, this is new. This is different. Ah! Found you! We found a bridge! We found a bridge! With an emperor chair to boot. Oh yeah. So, like I said, I'm not gonna do an uber thorough 
uh, walk through this one just because my frames are so bad on it, but it's an awesome design, looks really cool. As far as I can tell, it's pretty accurate anyway. Um, so I encourage you all to check it out. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!